Hey everybody, um, thanks for clicking on the video. I know it's been a little bit since I made a video, uh, obviously because uh, the last one was I went paintballing and I fractured and dislocated my ankle. I'm walking around now, so uh, I'm getting uh, back into the swing of things a little bit. Unfortunately, I missed this whole season season of paintballing, but it is what it is. Uh, the one thing uh, I wanted to do and I wanted to show and help everybody at least, um, I haven't seen anything on YouTube or, you know, Google or anything like that to help out with this specific uh, pistol, which is the uh, T4E uh, TPM1. Um, so we are going to do a disassembly and a cleaning. So not just like a, a quick cleaning or whatever. We're going to take the whole thing apart, pretty much the whole thing apart to help clean uh, paint or any gunk that's... Uh, that's gotten in there so I'm gonna do that to help people out um, so first we'll do right nothing 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 so we're good to go uh, so okay so the first thing you're gonna need is uh, a hammer this one's a little rusty it's just a small in and around the house hammer we're gonna need a small uh, Allen key uh, the Allen key the small one is for these guys right here I hope you can see it the one here okay so we're gonna need a very small Allen key or a punch. If you have a screwdriver or a small punch, you're gonna you're gonna want to get that handy as well too. This one seems to work okay. So you're gonna need two of them, one here and one here. This one seems to be pretty good, and this one seems to be pretty good. So we'll use we'll use these guys. This one might be a little bit too big. Let's get a smaller one. And there, perfect. That should work. So I'll leave these two out. What can help? You can use at the edge of a of a of a of a table or whatever you have. Like you can go like this and then punch it out. Just have to make sure it's secure. Or what I find that helps sometimes is that you can rest, rest, get a get duct tape or something, and rest it in the hole, and then you can punch it out like that. Okay. So first we're gonna obviously we we'll do it again. We're gonna make our sure it's everything's empty, checked, good, good, good. And once again, this is the um, T4. T4E at TPM1. So I've seen a lot of other ones like the PP, PPQ and the Glock and all that stuff. It's pretty much the same. Some things are a little bit different. So once again, I'm going to show you how to do it for this one. Okay. So so for this one here, you're going to grab it like this. Get the Allen key, put it in the hole here. Like that. And then we're going to punch it out. Just like that. I'm going to set that aside. Make sure that you know the direction it goes back in. So there's like a serrated edge on that side here. If you will, that part goes in like that. Okay, so just remember how you take it out. This one, likewise, on the other way. Just going to grab it. Put it in like this. And... Okay. That's that. Take your, put it aside. And now what we have to do is that we have to grab it and lift upward. And there we go. I like to pull it back a little bit to give a little bit of tension, or right? So now you have your pistol in two pieces now, okay? The magic pretty much all happens above. As I said, I hope everybody can see that. All the magic happens up here. The bottom part here is pretty much an empty shell. Uh, the one thing you have to uh, be mindful of, there's a little spring in here, right? Just be careful that it doesn't fly out on you or come out. It's very easy to come out. It's this little spring and it goes into this little slot here and it rests. You don't really need to do anything here, but just remember if you do wash or like you run it under the water or get a sponge or whatever in there, or a toothbrush, just remember that this, there's a little spring here. Okay, so this flat piece goes down and it goes, let's see if I can get some light in there as well. It goes right in there like this. And it sits just like that. Okay, so we're not going to do anything with the uh, pistol grip or the lower. We're just, uh, 
just gonna set that aside uh, what you want to do is is actually this right here the the upper the upper slide pretty much the trigger group I know it's a paintball pistol but I might use terms so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna take this out and how to take this out first you have to remove the spring okay so that spring comes out just like that you saw it, it comes in from there come and I bring it out like that okay uh, sometimes paint gets gooped up in here dry paint and whatnot too because this part is the recoil spring essentially and it comes through here and paint gets in there especially if you get splatter or it gets shot right on it'll get right in there so take this out and clean it just remember once again make sure how how to go how it goes back in but I'll show you as well too how it goes back in step by step okay so now that the recoil the recoil spring is out what you're gonna do is that this now f moves freely okay so what we're going to do is that we're going to grab it and pull back okay pull back until it, it it's going to unseat okay out and you could tell it's all out and then forward and then down okay so i'll take the top part because it's a little bit easier to explain and talk about here is pretty much where the magic happens, where the uh, hammer hits the pin and it releases the air to shoot the uh, the paintball. Uh, typically speaking, if you do repairs, you take it to the repair shop because something's not working, it's not firing, this and that, blah blah blah. This is pretty much what you're gonna what you repair. Um, there's two screws here, one in here, one here, and this removes the whole assembly. We're not gonna do that because it's. I, I don't really need to do that, so I'm just gonna leave it in place. You can lube it up a little bit in there. Um, what I like to do when I lube, when I take things apart and lube it, uh, typically the rule of thumb I do, if it if it's a moving part or if it rubs against something else, then I lubricate it. So the tracks, the rails, all that stuff, and a little bit back here because that's where the spring goes. Uh, sorry, the the uh, firing pin goes, as you could tell, right? So I'm gonna set that aside because that's really all that has to happen with this guy. Okay. Now, when you take it down from here, this is realistically the furthest you would really have to take this down. From here, you can get to everything that you need from, uh, from the barrel uh, to the trigger to the hammer back here to, the, to where the uh, firing pin sits, right? Uh, another thing you just have to be careful of is, is this little piece right here. This piece does come off or jars out a little bit. Just as you could tell it jars out a little bit you don't want it to fly off because if something happens then you're going to be sol without uh, knowing how to fix it so aside from that you just clean it up and do your best how you do that it's really it's really uh, up to you some people just use soap and water some people use uh, cleaning agents uh, i like to use rubbing alcohol not a lot i just dab a little bit of rubbing alcohol right and then clean it up Right, clean up the paint, clean up whatever, and all that stuff, and you know, right. And then I use my oils, and I either use the spray oil, uh, which I have, which I have right here. This is the one I use. It was recommended to me by uh, by Adam and Steve from Tier One, so I've been using it pretty much ever since, and it's worked great. I don't use a lot of it. I've had this for a very long time. Uh, I get more. I'll, I'll, I'll pick up more of it as of course but it seemed to be working great um, that's what it's called so everybody can see okay so I use that so uh, so for here it, this is your this is how the trigger works okay you press the button here I'm guessing this this part comes out to receive the paintball right and then the hammer will drop I just got it this has to go there and the hammer will drop okay I don't really like to do that um, cause I'm, like because it's not back together so I feel like just like dropping the, f uh, the firing pin on a dry chamber if you will it's kind of the same thing but I'm just showing you as well to what it would look like so as well uh, what you can do is what I did is that I pressed the trigger like this and I cleaned out because sometimes when when the paintballs burst inside you get paint all in there Okay, you get paint all in there and all around here. So get a Q-tip or whatever, like I was saying, clean it off, clean it up, clean it up, blah, 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 in, out, right? My barrel's pretty clean. I'm pretty sure you could see that from there. I've cleaned it pretty good. Um, 
and then use your oil whatever oil marker you want to use go ahead and use whatever whatever you recommend for yourself or for others right and everything else seems to be pretty good as i said i typically like to lube up the, the spots or the sections where other metals friction on other or plastics and whatnot too so for example here on the slide release i like to lube it up a little bit because you'll be using that and in the trigger 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 group itself i like to lube it because obviously that's a moving part so you want to make sure that it's it's moving nicely and as you can tell this part just fell out which is okay just kind of slap it back in there and we are good to go okay so aside from that that's pretty much everything that's involved with this with with this uh marker this this upper here uh that's pretty much it you could run this underwater some people won't recommend it or whatever the case as i said you cleaned how you find it best to clean your markers i've seen people use just like a hose and just hose it down under a tap or whatever or people would rather use rubbing alcohol i use rubbing alcohol right because it gets off gets everything off and just very lightly right and it and it dries right the problem is you don't want to get water in there and it sits and then it gets all rusted and stuff like that and becomes issues and seals and stuff like that uh rubbing alcohol works because it'll evaporate uh, uh relatively quick depends how much you use so so yeah so that's pretty much all of it uh, right then and there. Am I forgetting anything? No. So here is a, this, the spring or the recoiling spring, essentially. This is where the marker gets its recoil uh, back to forward. So how we put it back together, because we're all done cleaning it, right? And lubing it up nice, nice. What you're going to do is that you're going to have this part pretty much essentially sit into this spring here. There's a spring right in here and it has to sit groove side up, okay? And it's important that it sits groove side up because that's how that pin, the first pin that we took out goes through here and the second pin goes through here as you could tell, right? One and two. So you gotta make sure those holes line up properly and you gotta make sure you put it in the right way. So you could tell this part has a little slit cut out of it. That part goes in first like this up at the top and it sits on the spring. Okay, it's not going to line up right away, obviously, because we don't have everything together. So, when it comes to the slide, oh yes, I almost forgot. This part is also a little tricky, but it's important as well too. So when you put the when you put the slide back onto the barrel, essentially what essentially what you're doing here, well, I'm going to make sure everything's set and properly. It's going to sit, and it's going to sit like this, and you can't get that back on the reason why and i'll tell you the reason why is this right has a little tension to it <clears throat> because it's not sitting in the marker the tension is is resting on the pin essentially what it actually has to happen is that this hammer has to rest on top of this piece here okay this little piece here has to rest on top so when you're putting it back on when you when you put it back on it's resting below that point i'm not sure if you could see that below that point so what you have to do if you could do it with your fingers i just grab a little flat head see if i can show everybody try not to damage the the um the seal there that green piece try not to damage or poke anything else what you're realistically doing is just grabbing it off to the side lifting up and putting it over and now it sits how it's supposed to sit okay and that's how the recoil or the slide works okay back to front back to front okay and that's the reason why if you have trouble putting that part back on it's because um it has to sit just it has to ride on top of that okay now to the recoiling spring right you can put the spring in first here like this follow with the guide remember that little cutout right here put that little cutout facing upward and now you are seated properly and as you can tell the holes quite pretty much line up okay okay so that that's all set in place it's not going to go anywhere now we're going to go back to our lower or pistol grip i said be careful with this little spring here put your trigger back in pretty much first so it guides the rest of it in and then just kind of slap it in there and look you're pretty much done that's pretty much how the whole thing operates you're going to grab your your first pin or the pin with the serra serration i think both of them have serrations on them yeah both of them have serrations so the larger one essentially and you can just 
put that back in you can grab your allen key as well too to set it right you don't want to use the hammer straight on it right because then you just hit the, the metal or the or the polymer frame at the bottom and that's bad times serrations go up when you're putting it back in so put that back in okay stop before you get to the bottom there and see if you can okay just make sure it's seated nicely so you don't want to have it sticking out which this one is sticking out just a little bit so i'm just going to seat it back perfect see that nice and flush not sticking out to the top and that's that's pretty much it right so everything seems to be working i'm not testing it out just yet i'm not uh i haven't gone to the backyard i'm not gonna use a co2 cartridge just to dry fire it and not have anything with it but that's it that's that's the pretty much disassembly or pretty much the complete disassembly of the t4e tpm1 um yeah that's let me get rid of this right empty 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 right magazine release works great slide lock works as well too slide release pistol trigger works great Hammer reset, you can feel it from the inside. Obviously, you guys can't feel it, but hammer reset um, feels great. I'm not sure if you can. All right. So, essentially, once again, that's how you take apart the T4, uh, T4, E, uh, T4, 3, T4, 3, T4, E, sorry, T4, E, uh, TPM1. Uh, cleaning, disassembly, and uh, and maintenance, essentially. You really want to take care of this marker. These guys are pretty finicky when it gets dirt and stuff stick on, uh, in it. They have tighter tolerances. They have uh, tighter spaces for it to function and whatnot, too. Uh, with larger, mar regular size markers, they're a little bit more forgiven with sand, dirt, and stuff. It doesn't mean that you can not care for them it just they have they, they can talk they can tolerate a little bit more than these guys can these guys are very finicky same thing with the magazines magazines are, are pretty small and they're very finicky when it comes to a lot of things so sand dirt and all that stuff so you want to kind of uh make sure you're maintaining them uh very well lubing them up cleaning them out um so yeah so once again that was a quick video it doesn't take long to take these things apart uh they're relatively easy uh and quick to maintain all right, once again, thanks for watching. I hope this helped your disassembly, maintenance, and reassembly of the T4E TPM1. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.